Hello, history enthusiasts. Today, let's dive into the fascinating world of the Morgans, a family that not only shaped modern finance, but also left a significant mark on culture and philanthropy. I'm excited to share their story with you, so let's get started. Our story begins with Junius Spencer Morgan, the patriarch who laid the foundation of what would become a financial empire. Back in the early 19th century, Junius started his career in banking and commerce, eventually establishing a successful partnership with the notable American banker George Peabody in London. This was only the beginning. Now when we talk about the Morgans, we cannot overlook the most famous of them all, John Pierpont Morgan Sr., commonly known as J.P. Morgan. Born into his father's wealth and legacy, J.P. Morgan was not just a banker. He was a financial titan. In 1871, he co-founded Drexel Morgan & Company, which later became J.P. Morgan & Company, a name that became synonymous with American economic development during the Gilded Age. Under J.P. Morgan's leadership, the firm was pivotal in financing and reorganizing railroads, industries, and utilities. His efforts in consolidating the American railroad system and creating giants like General Electric and U.S. Steel, the world's first billion-dollar corporation, were nothing short of revolutionary. But perhaps his most critical role was during the Panic of 1907. As the American banking system teetered on the brink of collapse, J.P. Morgan organized a coalition of bankers and used his own vast resources to stabilize the markets, demonstrating the power and influence one man could wield over the national economy. Following J.P. Morgan's death, his son, John Pierpont Morgan Jr., known as Jack Morgan, took over. He continued to expand the firm's influence, particularly in international finance, becoming the primary financial agent for the British and French governments during World War I. As we move into the modern era, the legacy of the Morgan banking empire continued through numerous mergers and acquisitions. The most notable of these was in 1959, when J.P. Morgan & Company merged with the Guarantee Trust Company of New York, eventually becoming part of J.P. Morgan Chase & Company, a global financial behemoth. But the Morgans were not just about money, they were also significant contributors to art and culture. J.P. Morgan was an avid collector, and his vast collection of art, manuscripts, and rare books became the cornerstone of the Morgan Library and Museum in New York City, a major cultural institution to this day. Moreover, their philanthropic endeavors spanned education, healthcare, and the arts, funding numerous institutions and initiatives that continue to benefit society. So, from stabilizing the American economy during crises, to shaping the landscape of modern finance and contributing to society's cultural and philanthropic sectors, the Morgans have left an indelible mark on both the economic and social fabric of our world. Thank you for joining me on this journey through history. Until next time, keep exploring the past to understand the present.